going on guys, it's Cynical and today for you guys I wanted to bring you a general discussion video. Today I want to talk about the next generation of Kingdom Hearts mainly because of the fact that we're now almost about to enter the next generation of the whole Kingdom Hearts cycle. The main reason why I'm making this video is I find it sort of hard to believe that we've been looking at Kingdom Hearts the same way ever since it was uh, initially brought out back in 2002 and what I mean by this is graphically Kingdom Hearts has looked the exact same for all of these years and still to this day as of right now we are currently waiting to enter the next generation of Kingdom Hearts. Now gameplay also enters in into this little discussion as well but it's more so looking at the whole graphical style of the game. As you guys should probably know Kingdom Hearts never made it onto the PlayStation 3 with a brand new installment. Of course we did get 1.5 and 2.5 HD Remix but of course those were just HD remasters for the older games. So um, the fact that we're almost on the edge of actually entering the next generation of Kingdom Hearts is sort of hard to believe but from what I've seen so far uh, the games are looking absolutely fantastic with already seeing Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover, 0.2 Birth by Sleep, as well as the infamous and also famous Kingdom Hearts 3. Now you have to admit that with seeing Kingdom Hearts 3, 0.2 Birth by Sleep, as well as Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover, it does feel a little bit weird seeing Kingdom Hearts actually having extremely nice looking visuals for once. Not to say that the older games didn't exactly look the greatest, sure for their time they actually did look really nice, but nowadays, the graphics for Kingdom Hearts are pretty damn outdated. Within saying that though, the styles that the game offers for all of the Disney worlds, especially looking at uh, 2.5 and 1.5 towards Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, the style is still there and it still does look nice to an aesthetic style, but to be fair, the graphics are definitely outdated. Personally, I believe that Square Enix are really taking Kingdom Hearts in an awesome, awesome direction. From already seeing two different Disney worlds with inside of Kingdom Hearts 3 and the way that they've portrayed those Disney movies into worlds for the next generation of Kingdom Hearts, I have to say they look absolutely beautiful, especially Tangled, with comparing how Tangled looks in the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers to how it actually looks in its CG movie. You have to admit, like Square Enix and Disney, with their collaboration together, they've really made it so that the Disney worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3 look like their movie counterparts. This is of course where Square Enix's brand new Kingdom Shader comes in. The Kingdom Shader is a graphical shader towards Unreal Engine 4, where Square Enix can basically make each of the different Disney worlds feel like their movie counterparts, and they can specifically style each of the worlds to the movie counterparts so that they look accurate and visually stunning. So far though, I have to say that I'm very, very impressed from what I've already seen with back cover 0.2, Birth by Sleep, as well as Kingdom Hearts 3. The visuals aren't anything too realistic, but then again, they're not anything too cartoony in terms of like cell shading or something like that. You can definitely see from these new generation Kingdom Hearts titles that the style that Square Enix and Disney are going for is something very particular and very specific and something that I don't think is actually being quite done yet. And of course, there is a reason for that because Disney is heavily implemented in Kingdom Hearts. From the recent trailers that we've received from Kingdom Hearts 2.8 as well as Kingdom Hearts 3 in the past year, you have to admit everything from the particle effects to the lighting, to even the character models, I know some of them have looked a bit derpy, and all around the environments are just looking absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to actually just dive into these games for myself to experience a hands-on view. In terms of the gameplay, the gameplay honestly looks like it's still maintaining that classic Kingdom Hearts feel, just a little bit more fancier and a bit prettier. Certainly when we look at Kingdom Hearts 3, there is a ton more abilities that we can activate, like Sora can use Keyblade transformations, Disney rides as weapons. He can also use an evolution of flow motion that came from Dream Drop Distance. He can also use parkour. I mean, honestly, the abilities that Sora has in Kingdom Hearts 3 is absolutely out the gate, but it's a good out the gate. It really goes to show that Sora's learned a lot from his previous adventures and that he's now at this point where he's a very, very powerful Keyblade wielder. Going back to it though, Kingdom Hearts 3 and 0.2 Birth by Sleep still look like they're maintaining that classic Kingdom Hearts feel. And honestly speaking, that's what I hope for the future of Kingdom Hearts. From here on in, Kingdom Hearts will probably be looking like this exact same style that we've seen in 0.2 in Kingdom Hearts 3 for quite some time. I'm sure with future titles, there will be improvements here and there, but for the most part, this is probably how Kingdom Hearts will be looking for the coming years. However guys, what are you feeling about the next generation of Kingdom Hearts? Let me know in the comment section down below, and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.